morning to everybody. If you're now joining us, better late than never. And uh, as I promised you guys, we have a very special guest in studio with us by the name of Pretty. No stranger to the music industry. Yeah. Um, he's been writing a lot for a lot of big time uh, soca artists for quite a while. And he decided to jump out himself and, uh, and, and be part of it which should have been reversed for me based on your voice and based <laughs> of, on what I've been hearing because you have a, a, a beautiful voice. Thank you, thank and, you. And um, writing skills are definitely on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, just remind them a little bit for me now, like some people who you've written for and, um, and the songs. <laughs> um, Marshall Montano, um, I wrote Getting On Bad, Shameless, mm. um, Losing It. Um, I also wrote a song on the Intercol Rhythm and... Um, on the Triumph Rhythm, um, uh, also wrote for Destra, Wassiness, and Dreaming. I wrote for Patricia Roberts, Do Rough Me Up, KI, I Go Wine By Myself, wow. Blacks, um, Farmer Nappy, um, also Father Fox, um, Yankee Boy. Wow, wow, wow. It list goes on and on, boy. And um, <laughs> Sharada, Room, um, a lot of people. What, what, what made you decide to make the transition from being a writer to being in the forefront? Um, actually, I, I, the writer, becoming a writer was a, actually an act of desperation <laughs> in trying to cling on to um, a dream of becoming a musician. Right. Mm. And before I was trying to be an artist and the artist thing wasn't working out. Right. And so you I tried an, another avenue instead? I, I, did, I, I, I was actually advised that um, I should probably try writing because I... I have a knack for it and then I, I, I do rest of history in terms of meeting Casey and starting to work with Precision and forming We Mad and stuff like that. Right, wow. So how, how many years so far have you been in, in the business? Um, This will be my third going on. This will be my fourth year. Hmm. Yeah, but still for four years, I mean, you've achieved a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah honestly. For four yeah. years, I mean, a lot of people have been trying and pushing and pushing. and. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I mean, uh, everything is, is, you gotta get thanks to the most high. Definitely, always, definitely. Always, always. All right, so we want to talk about your new track. Now, we know there was a lot. This is, has been one of the most heated, yeah. uh, most bacchanalish, yeah. um, troublesome elections to yeah. date, from yeah. what I've experienced. From, from me, too, also, because um, this would will, this will actually be my, my second election. Well, my second time to vote. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. I'd, uh, so... This this one from judging from the first one and just watching you on previous this this has stirred up a lot of underlying emotions and underlying issues that that we everyone knew was around yeah, but no yeah. one really took the the time to tackle it mm -hmm. so you know that that is that is why I decided to instead of I pulled back my first release and released Nation this of one Love instead, instead, instead. yeah. Tell me, have you uh, seen anything personally, like probably on your, your Facebook timeline? Has anything interacted with you that yeah, made um, you decide, let me go ahead and, 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 and make a track like this? Yeah, well, first, uh, I saw what everyone was seeing in terms of the racist comments being made both on uh, both sides. Right. They, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no denying. No, yeah, yeah, there's no one side doing it more. No, we're not looking at that because at the end of the day, it takes two hands to clap. That's right. So if, if, even if someone says something, it, it still have to be in your mind mm -hmm. at least say something because it just want to hurt their feelings exactly. so it makes you just exactly. as bad exactly so the thing that that really was like all right pretty this thing against you so when it's starting to be fathers uncles disrespecting their nieces and daughters oh, it, it yeah. got that bad for for their choice of friends or relationships right. and stuff like that and on both sides that that's how and i see it personally because like i i work I started off working in UE mm -hmm. and our home writing studios in UE and we have a mixture of friends from all ethnic backgrounds. Right. And when you, you hear stories from them saying that, yo, my parents say if I bring home a certain person that I, I, I get this I, I mean, listen, pretty honestly, in 2015, do you still feel no, like that's not I can't sense. believe these, that it's happening? These people need to jump in a time machine <laughs> and get out of this era because <laughs> they are clearly backwards. Clearly. Like I, like to their face, like, and these and most of them would they they would boast they have scholars and masters but i would basically say that you're a little bit if not slow <laughs> you're very outdated because yeah. if you look at the schools look at the lessons that children teach us i have a son and my son 
is a mix up. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's so, a color loose. Somewhere, color somehow loose. down the timeline. And, and honestly, that makes us stronger because one thing, as as simple as all right, you want to go back, you want to be scientific about it. If if you, if you don't mix the genes and stuff like that, at some point in history, one gene pool will die out because with the constant mixing of that same, it will become thin. Yes. Yeah. So it, yeah. Have, yeah. It, it, it have so much ways to look at how these people make no sense. And I would say these people and class all of Everybody, them in a bubble yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. So they make no sense wholly, solely, none. They, it, there's nothing in the Bible, Quran, mm. or the or any hindu scripture no 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 race preaches this kind of hate so you have nothing to back you up hmm. there's no history that could back you up that say all right because i'm this color i, I am destined to do this so i'm destined to yeah, do that so yeah, it's, it's yeah. a whole set of nonsense and me being 24 looking that uh, supposed to have respect for these people nah man they yeah. should they should all of them should be ashamed of themselves of course, all of the course. ones who pop seats even if it was mario Mm. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mad. I think people were way too emotional this yeah. this elections, the, and it it, it 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 came out from some form of truth, as it, you said. It yeah. was always there; it's been there. And the, the the thing about it is that listen, these people after elections is done and gone, they still have a paycheck to. That's re- right. Everybody fails when, to realize that when you alienate your friends and your families, they will just see the true being that you are mm-hmm. and realize that all right, probably this person is not someone I should associate myself if they hate me this much then why are we friends and in addition to that i think a lot of people um in in the all the heated arguments and and want to yeah. say this and that people forgot you had other friends on your facebook page or mm. whatever timeline and that could have seen it and you forgot exactly. about how they felt and and then it was, it, it, most of them were they end up turning into after they they realize that all right i, I probably sound stupid they turn into a hypocrite because they just made a racist statement and they're like i'm not a racist yeah. i have this yeah, it was immediately followed by saying that yeah, exactly <laughs> so yo you are you made the statement you mm. can't be classed of that and that is a fact not because you now decide to retract the statement by stating that you have friends exactly of, it doesn't exactly. make it any easier exactly. this thing unless you said it so true yeah. so, so so this is where the song was birthed from yeah the song i was actually on a flight back from new york labor day which was yeah, recently, yeah. And um, my me and my my manager and I were in the vehicle. He just was dropping me off, and I reposted a uh, uh, article a young lady posted on on um Facebook about her uncle and her aunt saying bad things about her because she decided to vote for uh, the party that they didn't want to vote right, for. Right, right. And I reposted it, and she uh, normally I would block out the person's name. And I just I was so pissed at this post. Yeah. And she commented on it and she said, Thank you. So that goes to show how they want people to know. To the know, young yeah, people yeah, yeah, want yeah. people yeah. because we don't care. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. to us. And it's a generational thing. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is a generational mm-hmm. thing. And I the thing about it is that my heart goes out because I understand to a point. Whereas all right, there's two different races races now that have to come and learn to to live as one in one place and coexist. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I understand to a point, but after all these years, mm-hmm. all they learn nothing. Mm-hmm. Even the monkeys yeah. could evolve and learn how to use sticks. Why can't we learn how to just love our brother? Million, million dollar so question. Million dollar question. It it as a as a young person, I I my faith in in a lot of heads have have been diminished if if and the thing why i want to stay for the record is this is not ha- this has nothing to do with anything political political yeah i'm just dealing with the situation that arrived out of mm-hmm. this this election campaign i don't care about the politics because at the end of the day whoever governs this country wants to do it right all right yeah, you'll get yeah. our next and term. i think people yeah. fail to realize that it exactly. is not a fo- yes. for, for certain people or for us yeah. it's not about that it's not, it's not about, about race. politics exactly yeah. is it we is at the end of the day everyone has to live in this country we have to vote we have to suffer yeah. together when rain falls storm all of us our house roof everything, everything. gone what we're gonna do is your brother or your sister to come hmm. all, all of you have blood in your veins is the same thing so nation of love boy nation, nation of, of love, love. um I how must, long did it take you to to write nation of love um nation of love actually we did it um wednesday and mm. I called Casey um, from Precision. I asked him if he can um, give out a, a hand and mix the song. Mm-hmm. And he mixed it for free. Um, also, Madman Johan. Right. Yeah, Johan. Yeah, 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 Johan, Johan mastered the yeah. track. Um, 
Anson produced the track. And so everybody put a hand everybody in helping. Everybody put a hand. Everybody put because it. I think everybody felt the same way. Every yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone yeah. saw it. Everyone saw the issue. And I mean, everyone... We, we coexist in music. Music that has no... Music no color, watch no face. Creed, and, no, yeah, yeah, music doesn't care. So... For us now, we will understand. Well, this this thing is like it, it crazy. Why <laughs> we don't understand it? Yeah. So why could you feel that way? What could prompt that emotion? So, I, as as musicians or and a new musician myself, I decided to. I mean, it's been a while since we get some music that it 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 showed something positive, but you could still party too. You could That's still enjoy exactly, yourself too. Exactly. Exactly. So, incorporated those two. I yeah. mean, I just try to to. to incorporate everything i learned over the years as a writer from working with guys like marshall and getting advice from guys like bungie and casey and, and nikolai and these guys and mm. try to incorporate it into the writing style for the song and make it a song where at least it will be it will accepted by both generations yes. so both of us can and generations message. to come as well and generations yeah. to come. all right well introduce your song for us nation of love my name is pretty this is my song coming to you live on 96.1 wfm it's called Nation of Love. That's right. But although we were in a, a, uh. a very heated uh, discussion <laughs> during the song was playing, I did get the gist of it, and we did listen to it before because it was all busted earlier on in the week we, as well. Yeah. Gotta say congratulations on this song. A great Fantastic writing. Fantastic track. Yeah, yeah. yeah for writing. 24 years yeah. old, pretty year, really. Yeah, fantastic job. Thank and you. I'm glad that you're able to put this message out, especially for the younger people. Hopefully, maybe the older generations, though they are very, you know, um, stiff-headed on, on, on what they believe in, but hopefully this would probably change their minds and, and get the younger people to influence I, them some I, way. I Honestly, I, I don't have faith in, in that mind. You give up, change. you give up. No, I, I honest, I not I don't care about about the, the, the they are changing their mind. I just want to let them know that we don't care what right. they think on right. that topic. Right. As a as a young I know a lot of a kids up by in in Maloney in, in mm. the rural areas, in the uptown areas, wherever, they do not care about race. They That's literally true. it doesn't matter. Yeah. We, they see past skin and yeah. face and hair texture and all these nonsense. Yeah. So it's, this is basically to let them know listen. As a con- I love Trinidad. I love Trinidad. Every too. Time, Anytime I go away, I can't, I can't wait, wait to come to back, come back <laughs> Trinidad. Or I only wouldn't believe. I just be no, so I, antsy. Yeah. I, I know you feel it because same yeah, thing yeah, with me. Yeah. yeah. I love Trinidad. So I, it's, it's for me. It's just to let everyone in the country know because one person would might not have the voice strong enough to say it. I, I've been seeing a lot of statuses going up, and a lot of people are affected by this, and yeah. they they are appalled by the whole situation. Mm. So I know a lot of people stand against racism, which is a great thing. But they, the noise that the, the, the ones that for racism are making are always louder than the positives. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's just mm-hmm. to let them know that the positives are here and we listen. And we here to stay. We here to stay. Mm-hmm. And it listen, these these oh, these guys, after within time, when the whole country become douglarized, <laughs> big up KC, <laughs> when we douglarize the whole place, yeah. all it wouldn't have no problem because it's just one douglarization. Should I have a ministry of douglarization though? Yeah, yeah, KC, yeah. KC, yeah. KC, big up KC and his campaign to douglarize. <laughs> I, I stand by douglarizing <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought we'll lend a hand in douglarizing the country <laughs> myself. <laughs> you, have a, you have your work cut out, boy. Let you work to do. I, I, I think my back's strong enough. <laughs> yeah. A lot of us say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But pretty, we want to thank you so much for passing through, sharing this wonderful song, Nation of Love, mm-hmm. with us. And um, guys, continue to request it. We want to hear it a lot because the message is within the music and we yeah. really need to let the older heads know. Yeah. As you said, we really don't care. Yeah, we, yeah we don't care. It's just about Trivial positive. matters. Yeah. 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 Positivity right through. Um, I must thank everyone again that, that stood by the song and um, and and just supporting something positive and as a as a new artist i've been getting a lot of calls right and a lot of show a lot of people show me support in, in terms of my music and writing and stuff like that and i appreciate it right. i want to just tell these people thank you as one clap one pat on your back it, it makes a, a whole difference in the, in mm. the eyes and the heart of a new artist any shout outs before you jump out Big up the whole of my mm-hmm. Maloney Gardens. Big up yourself, my area, born and raised. Right. Respect. Big right. up the whole of the east of Trinidad, the west of Trinidad. Big up the Sando people. I love Sando people. Right. Yeah. Big up Sando. my Debe De- 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 family. My boy who got me music. He's from Debe. Okay. Big up the okay. whole Debe De- Naps mm-hmm. presentation. Yeah. Big up the west side. Dego family. Tong, mm-hmm. Port of Spain. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. New artists. <laughs> Charada, Rome, Irfan, Mick. New producers, right. big up yourself, everyone I'm working with. We mad pretty underscore, we mad underscore pretty. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. 
um and look out for more things dropping soon very nice well you heard it guys from pretty right here on 96 number one stay tuned for more information check out the youtube channel for everything on pretty and keep it locked to team 96 yeah baby